Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is 28th of November 2018. This is 8th video about Windows API. In this session, we will learn what is a security descriptor and how to retrieve the security descriptor from a process. Windows system provides three categories of object. User object, graphic device interface object or GDI object and kernel object. System uses user object to support Windows management and GDI object to support graphic and a kernel object to support memory management, process execution and inter-process communication. Among the kernel object, there are securable object. Securable objects are file or directories on NTFS file system, named pipe, anonymous pipe, process thread, etc. If we are going to create securable object, the creation function usually asks us security attribute. And if we click the link for security attribute, security attribute structure requires a security descriptor. So, Securable object is an object that have security descriptor. In this session, we will learn about what is a security descriptor and how to retrieve it from a process. Security descriptor structure. Security descriptor has owner PSID. PSID means security identifier, owner security identifier, and group security identifier, and Tackle means system access control list. Tackle means discretionary access control list. In this session, we will not concern about tackle and tackle. We will just learn how to retrieve security descriptor from a process. We will also learn how to use get security info. Get security info function is used to extract security descriptor and convert the seed to string seed function. The convert seed to string seed function converts the security identifier to string format suitable for display, storage, or transmission. And the lookup account seed function, the lookup account seed function accepts the security identifier as input. It retrieves the name of the account for this seed and the name of the first domain on which this seed is found. For more information, please refer to this MSDN documentation using these links. I will put this script in the description section below. Okay, let's get started. From File menu, New Project, Solution name will be Extract Security Descriptor Solution. Project name will be Security Descriptor of Process. Click OK. Click Finish. Include Windows, include IO stream, include string, pragma, comment, LIB, ADV, API, 32, LIB. Please note that we are going to use get security info function to retrieve security descriptor. And to use this function, we have to include ACL API, copy, include, ACL API. We also need include SDDLH. We will use this convert seed to string seed function to convert security identifier to string format SDD W string seed to string PSID P seed W character T P seed string null convert seed to string seed p seed we have to provide pointer to pointer p seed string please note that this function can fail d word dw result get last error msdn documentation says if it fails the last error value will be something like this then we will try with this first this one first if dw result stdc out it should be fixed like this. Then in insufficient memory. Insufficient memory. SDD and L. Else if DW result equals error invalid seed. Invalid seed. SDD. C out. C 
CD is not valid. CD is not valid. STD and L. S. S means this case. STD. CR. One of the parameter contains value that is not valid. STD and L. Since we cannot further proceed, return. We will return empty string. At this point, std w string c the string p c the string. Please note that we have to this c the function documentation said call local pre function for this string seed for this this per argument local pre p c the string then return c the string converts p s i d to string. Now here void test security descriptor psid psid owner null p security descriptor p sd null now we are going to use get security info function get security info we have to provide handle get current process then a C object type, a C object type you can refer to this documentation. Since we are using kernel object, process is kernel object, we copy and this is security information. For security information, we are extracting owner security information, owner security information, and we are also extracting group information, group security information. I will create another one here. PSID, PSID group null. The next is SID owner. It should be pointer to pointer. PSID owner. Then PSID group, PSID group. Then decal. We will provide null. Decal null for circle. Then security descriptor. PSD. Please note that this function can fail. The function succeeds, it returns error success. Not error success. It means it failed. STD, CR, failed to retrieve security descriptor. Error code will be get last error. STD, and there. Return, save it dword dw account name reset zero dword dw domain name zero sid name use seed type unknown I say SID use look up account seed for more information about a look up account seed please refer to this function null we provide p on we provide p seed owner it should be null dw account name null dw domain name seed use if please note that this function can fail if fail and sorry we have to provide here one more null get last error not error insufficient buffer this cd use i fixed like this scd c out sorry i have to remove this failed to retrieve buffer size scd and there uh, Please note that before we return, if we fail, we have to release this security descriptor. 
before we return local free psd return if we refer to msdn documentation about security info get security info function documentation says we have to call local free function to release security descriptor so we have to call local free before we return now at this point std w string account name dw account name we pass dummy string like this std w string w string domain name dw domain name we make dummy string if look up account seed null p seed owner account name zero dw account name domain name zero we are passing pointer dw domain name sid use if it fails std see out failed to retrieve account name and domain name std and there local free psd return at this point std wc out p owner p seed owner we can convert security identifier into string using this function like this p seed owner std and there we have to put wide character like this then std wc out p seed group seed to string p seed group std and there std wc out owner name account name std and there std wc out domain name domain name please note that we extracted we extracted this security descriptor psd successfully so when we need we can use we can use psd the security descriptor over our process now after use we release local free psd and we return now we test this function now we test this function copy and paste it here Control f5 okay security id of owner is something like this and group id is something like this so the owner name is thomas kim domain name is is something like this before i close this session i would like to remind you one thing say when we use get security info functions this security owner security group is retrieved using this security info function we also retrieve a security descriptor and in msdn documentation says a pointer this security descriptor a pointer to a variable that receives a pointer to security descriptor of the object when you have finished using the pointer free the return buffer calling local pre function this parameter is required if any of the ppsid owner ppsid group ppdecl ppsecl parameter is not null it means Security descriptor already include memory for owner, group, circle, and decal. So when get security info function, get security info function returns all these PSID and the decal and the circle actually points to member of this security descriptor. So you should not free these things. What I mean is that you should not do you should not do free sid p sid owner or p free sid p sid group you should not do these things because this p sid owner and p sid group actually points to field in security descriptor here so please don't do this sorry i made two mistakes i will change it like this and fixed like this also here i fixed ctrl f5 
Please note that there is a blank space here. Also here is a blank space. So it means I made mistake in calculation. Here, when we calculate the buffer, string buffer, we have to minus 1. And also here, minus 1. Control F5. Now it works perfectly. In future sessions, we will learn more about security descriptor, especially about how to use security identifier and SQL and DECL. SQL is system access control list and DECL is discretionary access control list. More about SQL and DECL we will learn in future sessions. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.